Welcome to the Sidra Intersection 9 tutorial series. In this video, we'll explore the Network tab of the Sidra Intersection 9 user interface. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, please leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. Now let's begin. The Network tab allows you to create a number of networks using the sites already set up in the Site tab. Easily configure and analyze networks of up to 50 sites subject to a network level license. Here you can also create routes in your networks. A route is defined as a series of movements in one direction of travel from site to site. Various network templates are available through the Import command. The Networks section in the Project pane displays all networks and their routes included in the current project. Networks can be grouped and managed under folders. Select a network by clicking the Network Name in the Network section. The network name will be highlighted and shown with a checkbox. You can right-click the network name in the Network section or click the right arrow on the selected network bar to access various functions that apply to the selected network. Similarly, you can right-click the root name to access various functions that apply to the selected root. The Network tab ribbon consists of Network Network Setup Root Setup Functions Network Folders and Network Data Summary Command Groups. The Layout button in the Network group in the ribbon will open a tabbed Layout display for the selected network or route in the display pane. Double-clicking a network name or route name will also open the Layout display. The Network Setup group in the ribbon displays the commands to add a new network, rotate or clone a selected network, import a network from another project, or select the network templates installed on your computer, and export selected networks to be saved in a new project. Use the Root Setup group to add new routes. Create a copy of an existing route in reverse direction and clone existing routes. Functions commands allow you to modify a network or route, move up and move down networks and routes to reorder them in the project pane, and delete a network or route in the project. Using Network Folders commands, you can create new folders and move selected networks to different folders. The Network Data Summary group will open reports and displays for checking various input data specifications. The Network Input section includes Network Data. Define common control groups. Common control group phasing and timing. Network timing. And network demand and sensitivity input dialogues. Clicking an input dialog in the network input section of the project pane will open the dialog for data entry for the selected network. The Network Data dialog allows you to specify various network input parameters and manage a number of output settings. The Define CCGs dialog allows definition of common control groups for sets of directly connected signalized sites controlled by a single signal controller. 
When common control groups are introduced in the Define CCG's dialog, the CCG phasing and timing dialog will appear. Network layout, CCG phase sequence, and movement IDs displays are available within the CCG phasing and timing dialog. This is to assist you with input data entry and allow direct data entry in the phase sequence picture under the Sequence Editor tab. The Network Timing dialog includes Coordination, Signal Offsets, and Timing Options tabs for specifying network signal timings. The Network Demand and Sensitivity Input dialog provides design life, flow scale, and sensitivity analysis options to be included in output reports and displays. The Sites and CCG's In-Network section of the Project Pane lists the sites and common control groups included in the selected network. When a route is selected in the Networks section of the Project Pane, an additional Route Input section will appear, together with a section named Sites and CCGs en route. Clicking the Route Data Input dialog will open the dialog for data entry for the selected route. The Route Data dialog allows you to specify various route input parameters and settings for output reports and displays. The Interactive Offsets tool allows you to graphically adjust traffic signal offsets to optimize two-way progression quickly and easily. Once you have completed your network data specifications and processed a network successfully, output will be available under the Network Output, Route Output, Network Site Reports, and Network Site Displays tabs. When a network is processed, warning or error messages may appear. The warning or error messages will be included in the diagnostics reports, available using the commands in the Network Output and Network Sites ribbons. In such cases, you need to make any necessary corrections to the input data and process the network again. Click to open reports and displays in the Display pane. You can right-click any network output report or display area to open a menu, which will allow you to access the network input dialogs and various other commands. This concludes our tutorial on the Network tab in SIDRA Intersection 9. To learn more, please refer to the User Guide, Glossary, Help System in the software, and view our other YouTube tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.